What is going on YouTube? Thank you for watching the channel. This video is about the Hubs and Zeno new firmware update of 1.152 and how well it does returning back home after a disconnect and also how well it hovers after takeoff. Okay, so here we are. Conditions here are very windy. Um, not sure if you guys can see it in the background. Uh, I just hit you guys with a lot of sun. Uh, but yeah, in the background, right over here, it's uh, pretty windy. You can see the trees shaking all over the place. Uh, now, I just got hit probably with the, the gust of a 15 uh, mile an hour gust. And uh, that's pretty good gust. So this is the location I'm at, is Hollywood Cemetery, it's a famous cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. As you can tell, it's a beautiful location. You can see in the background uh, the city skyline and the mausoleum and then the river and uh, all sorts of really nice things. So I just wanted to give you guys some context and some background on what's going on and where I'm at and what kind of, the, what kind of conditions we're testing in today. So real world test today. And let's get started. Let's jump into it. Thanks for watching. Let's start recording with this camera. You guys ready? I'm going to hit this takeoff button right here. And that's what it did. Okay, so not terrible, right? Could be worse. All right, so pretty good takeoff. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up. Let it record. And that's what it's doing. Okay, looks pretty stable. I'm gonna shoot it down that way. And I'm going to turn off this camera. Okay. And see how far we can get down range. Okay. The wind is put rocking it pretty hard. Okay, twelve hundred feet away. Bring the camera down a little bit. I uh, have not connected and disconnected. The video disconnected, it's still rocking. The wind just hit it hard. Holy crap, that thing hit it. We are now 1900 feet away. The wind is rocking here, guys. We're 2,000 feet. I didn't expect it to get that far. We are 2,300 feet. We are now 2,900 feet. Battery is 11, 40%. 3,200 feet, should disconnect any minute, guys. Aircraft disconnected at 32.45. So it should turn around and come back. Okay, 
we are at 40% power when it disconnected. So it is sitting at 32.45. An automatic return is set. Okay. So it's uh, doing the automatic return home, which is nice. You can see 2,900 feet. Battery is 30%. So we're going to be pushing this thing back pretty fast here. Come on back, buddy. I didn't think it was going to have that much trouble with this battery here. I see it. It is 30% battery. Cooking right along. So it's now 26% battery. And it's cooking right along. So it's now 23% battery. And it's cooking right along. So it's now 21% battery. And it's cooking right along. Okay, good. And it's still coming pretty fast. You guys can see it right up there. Yeah, it is coming pretty fast, so I'm happy with it. Here it comes. It is rocking, man. It made it back. So that was probably a really good test. And it's right in the sun now. So really hard to see. Moving the camera down, 15% battery. Yeah, it looks like it's way off. I'm going to have to adjust it. That's nice. Now we can move it around when we're trying to home. Look at that. I'm actually doing that piloting here, guys because it was going to land on top of the trees right there and now I'm doing the pilot at home and now I'm going to do the catch and that's it Whew, that was scary range tests are always scary <laughs> okay so here we are I want to just kind of discuss what just happened um, Okay, here's what just happened, guys. We did a uh, <clears throat> auto takeoff. The Xeno came up, stayed there for rock solid, came down a little bit, and then went back up again. Again, this is probably due to the barometric pressure changing here because the storm system just left. So I'm not going to hold it against there. There's no flow camera underneath it. So therefore, totally rise on the barometer. And the other thing we did was I shot it out as far as I could. It disconnected at 3245 and it turned around and came back as advertised. Now it was running really low on battery. Not sure. I think my batteries are having issues. But anyway, it got back okay. Uh, it was off on the landing and I had to order manually move it while doing the RTH so that's the other thing that we can do that we needed to test can you move it while RTH it yes can you push it up yes so that's nice to have that control again to be able to fly it while returning home super super nice anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you guys liked the videos those are my thoughts and conclusions for today bye bye